12 miles away in Coesley. Hello. Critical care paramedic Ryan has just arrived at the home of a man who has badly broken his ankle. The bones are protruding through the skin. What's happening? Hi, Adrian. He slipped outside and he thinks his ankle displaced. He's not sure whether it's gone outwards or inwards. Sure. 47 year old Adrian lives with his parents. After he fell, he managed to drag himself back inside and his father called 999. Not the Sunday morning you were hoping for, then? No, not really. No. Ready, I know, I've just Sunday. noticed you've got Sunday your dinner. Sunday roast all prepared, ready to go. <laughs> A complex open fracture must be quickly realigned to prevent serious infections and re establish blood flow to the foot. It's a procedure Ryan has done many times. He's clicked it three times back into alignment. <gasps> Have you actually? Yeah. What, before these ladies yeah. got here? But today, his skills won't be needed. Wow, mate, I can't believe you've, you've put that back into <laughs> alignment. <laughs> you know. <laughs> what, you, what, what, what made you do that, do you think? Was it just hurting too much, or...? Yeah, well, I thought I was, I was going to try to get up. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I ain't going to get up without it, what, the way it was. So yeah. Just... How far angulated was it? How far...? It was very nice. It was it... Really? Yeah, well. Blimey. Back yeah. old school treatment. Yeah. I don't even know why you needed us to arrive, really. <laughs> Adrian's dexterity has served him well. Incredibly, he managed to manipulate the bones back into alignment himself a delicate and agonising procedure that usually requires high-strength painkillers and sedatives. You're a brave chap. I'm surprised you haven't just called a taxi and hobbled on in there. There you go. All right, hold that on your mouth and nose. Make a tight seal. That's it. And then just breathe that through. And then we'll get you, get you to a, a state of mind where you're not worried about what we're doing, and then uh, we can pop your foot on that splint and get you splinted. Do you want to do leg or splint? Happy his pain-tolerant patient doesn't need any advanced pain relief, Ryan continues to give Adrian gas and air to take the edge off any discomfort he may feel. Happy? I'll go above and below. You slide it up. Okay, I'm just going to lift your leg up now, okay? Nice deep breath. Nice colour. Nice circulation. Keep going. Keep going. You've got the old, uh, that's it, on that side. All right, what this is just going to do is just going to tighten up around your leg and go firm, OK? To stop the bones coming out of alignment on the journey, the ankle is encased in a vacuum splint. Ready, set, lift. That's it. Keep your arms in, mate. Happy? Ready, set, lower. Once he's on the ambulance... All right, ladies, take care. Nice to meet you. All the best, mate. Ryan is happy to leave Adrian in the care of the crew while he gets ready for his next emergency. He's clicked it three times back into normal alignment um, before the ambulance crew and myself got there. So pretty impressive, really. Um, strength and determination of Adrian to be able to have done that to himself, um, you know, is, is commendable. You don't see that very often.